Are you two okay? Sergi. Roy, long time no see. Sergi, how have you been, Captain Mara? What's Obaro doing on the floor, and why is Sergi with you? What's going on here? Sergi fought alongside us. He defeated Obaro. What happened? So, Marcia, where's Rog now? It escaped. Escaped? Obaro tried to dive. Obaro tried to dive into Rahu, but. It didn't seem like Rahu liked it, so it ejected him and flew away. Diving into Rahu? What? Sergi, what's going on? I'll explain it in detail, Captain Mira. But let's go to a different room. Please follow me. Oh, yeah, I forgot we don't have to face Elijah. Or her sister. Not yet, at least. I'll oh, do this room. Oh, no, the conference room. Hold on, wait. This music's like very end of the world crap. Like, we got a plan. Where are we? This room belonged to our leader who passed away not too long ago. Z's leader? Yes. Someone. Someone here needs to hear my leader's final words. This is why I brought you to my place. Can you guess who it is? Someone? Who? Who is it? Please, listen. These are my leader's final words. Ryan, you'll never know how proud I am that you've come so far. Uh, hey, Ryan, how come he knows your name? Syndicate too. What would you say that you've been lying to us this whole time? You're joking, right? Yeah, I'm just joking. <laughs> Not necessarily. What? Ryan is the son of our former leader. What? Actually, come to think of it, it does sound like my dad. What? It can't be. Is the Syndicate leader is really Ryan's father? Let me continue playing the message. Ryan. If you're listening to this message, that means Rahu's return in our time is short. I wish that I could have been here to see you, to fight with you in the final glorious moments. However, if you are hearing this, it also means my time has come, and I'm gone from this world. I have given my loyal friend, Sergi, details on your mission. Trust him as you would have trusted me. You do not have much time left. Give Sergi the watch I gave you to care for so long. With the power contained in that watch, you could defeat Rahu. If I failed you as a father in life, and my final wish in death is nothing but a fool's errand, I'm sorry, son. That was his final message. The watch my dad told me to keep it on at all times, never to take it off. He said it over and over. I promised him so many times, and he then... He left me. Ryan! Sergi, what's going on? Like you and Roy, I have learned about the outside room when I became a class S commander. Though you disappeared right after you found out about it. Sergi, why'd you leave without telling us? Because I met my boss. Boss? You mean Z's boss? When I found out about the outside world, I became curious. I wanted to explore it. And there, I met my boss. I was surprised to discover someone living in the outside world. And? He asked me, why are you here? And I told him I wanted to know the truth about the outside world. And he asked, is there something you need to protect? And I said, yes. Marcia, my sister, you were the one I wanted to protect. Sergi. We spoke for some time, discussing life in our, dun in our dome and outside. Finally, he asked me, do you want to protect this world from annihilation? Annihilation? Yes, I have to admit, I really didn't understand his question. But I could see in his eyes that he was very serious indeed. I stopped the thing and I said, yes. Then he said, as long as you remain in your world, you'll never see the truth. The truth lies in darkness. If you discover an inconsistency in your perfectly ordered world, where all things are controlled, anything that cannot be explained, come see me again, and I may be able to help you. Tell no one that we met. Tell no one that we have discussed. With that, we parted ways. I thought about what he said, but I couldn't find any inconsistencies. That's because there are none. Roy, be quiet and listen to me, Sergi. Then suddenly I found it. It was right in front of me from the start. When I returned home, I saw my sister waiting for me, and it struck me. The, the inconsistency, that single unexplainable thing, it was Marcia. 
her special power. Her strange power was a gift, and my late parents, they were suffering. Surgeon. To all appearances, Marcia is an ordinary girl, and yet the kids teased her. The scientists poked and prodded her, and still they learned nothing. Marcia didn't want to go, but the researcher, researchers forced her kicking and screaming. So that's why Marcia hated the robot researchers. I found out what they did to Marcia at the research center. It wasn't science, it was torture. They said that all people are created equal, but my sister's power stole equality from her. If this isn't an inconsistency, then what is? How did I go so long about questioning this? I couldn't wait. Once they seen the inconsistency, clearly I had to leave to meet that man again. I told him about Marcia, and he said, In order to understand, you must know everything. And he told me the real truth, something that even most class S commanders do not know. The real truth. What do you mean? You're all aware that centuries ago, Rahu nearly wiped out the human race. Yeah, we, we were told that about Rahu and I lived in um, the dome cities. People lived in except for ours. You were never told the truth about the outside world. Do you believe we lived in domes up here? Well, yeah, I mean, really, where else would we live? We lived free in the outside world. We lived in vast cities in the open air. Rahu destroyed all that. What? Really? Originally, humans didn't live in dome cities. We lived outside. The outside world was our home. Rao destroyed all of our cities centuries ago. The few who survived, they formed an area that had minimal damage, and with the help of Robotech, they built a dome to create a reliable environment for our new community. I see. We haven't heard about that part. We thought people had always lived inside those domes. You are correct. But there is still more than you don't know. The dome builders left Rao and operated in the outside world before they sealed themselves in. Sergi, it sounds like you're saying we delivered each other to live in a cage like animals. That's right. The dome protects us, but it also keeps us trapped like trapped cage. Wait a sec, you said Rahu was an operator, so how did we stop Rahu last time? That was a long speech, so now it's time. Rahu possessed no form of its own. It was more like a spirit than a living creature. What? No form? That doesn't make any sense. We saw it. It looked like a custom robo. And eh, the title of the name. I'll explain that later. Let me continue, though. Originally, was invisible, formless, but still physical, still capable of inflicting damage. We couldn't see it, but it was a real creature, and it evolved rapidly. Evolved? Not in the traditional sense, but yes, that's correct. Rahu has two fundamental behaviors. The first is to acquire new targets. In the case, us. Once it identifies its prey, Rahu destroys it. It's swiftly and utterly. It appropriates in any useful abilities its victim possessed. Anything it had not countered before. Then, I don't want to say that word like a sherry. Sure, Salas. It goes dormant, awakens with new skills, and it continues its hunt. Metaphors. Hmm. I guess it really is involving. So what you're saying is that it targets a creature like with abilities it doesn't have and steals them? Then it turns out like a pupa rests for a bit and changes into an even scarier monster. Yeah, that's just about the size of it. That's just a secondary behavior, though its primary function is to annihilate every living thing. So it involves it, it's invisible? It can learn to do everything we can do and it all wants to kill or everything? Right. So what can we do? I mean, other than this roll for and die. How did they stop it a hundred of years ago when it was running amok? Custom Robos. It was because of Custom Robos that they were able to defeat Rahu. Custom Robos? Yes, back then Custom Robos were nothing but children's toys. Like robotic action figures. It may sound strange, but even now, there is much we don't know about Custom Robos. Rahu's destruction rampage was at its peak and we were all but extinct. When suddenly, Rahu targeted a young child's robo-toy. Then something inexplicable happened. Rahu merged with the robo, meddled itself with the robo. That's weird! Why did it do that? I'm not sure. Some people think there's a connection between Rahu and the custom robo. It almost sounds like Rahu did a dive into that custom robo. I don't know, got stuck or something. And that's why Rahu looks like the way he does now. That's why we can't even... That's... That's why we can even see it in the first place. That's correct. Now that our enemy was invisible and had a chance to fight back, and we seized it. 
The government remodeled the custom robos as weapons to battle Rahu's new bat robo form. Finally, after many grueling battles, we defeated Rahu. Actually, let me correct myself. We didn't defeat it, but we were able to trigger its dormant cycle. The dormant Rahu had, the new, had no new information to assimilate, and so it didn't evolve and it didn't awaken. We couldn't destroy Rahu, though instead we brought ourselves some time. So that's the rest of the story we didn't know, but wait! Don't you think that's a little funny? Rahu was capable of destroying the entire world, and we stopped it with a child's toy? I know what you're thinking. Rahu couldn't be stopped swimming with the custom robos. There was something else, of a device that's des designed to stop Rahu by targeting his robo system. A device? Sergi, why should we trust you? You're a member of the Z-Singit now, and a traitor. Even if you're telling the truth, why does it matter? What's your point? You're right. It doesn't matter. Let me ask you, Roy. When did you first find out about Rahu's attack? What? Why are you suddenly... I first learned the truth when I became an S commander. How about you, Captain Myra? It was the same. I didn't know until I was promoted. Don't you think that's odd? What? This is the single most, most significant and traumatic event in human history, and no one knows. It's classified knowledge. The government dictates who should and who should not know it. But how could they stop the survivors from passing on these stories to their children? But people respect the role of the government. They knew it was confidential. Do you actually believe that the government had the power to silence such a terrible thing? Can you think of any other reason why no one had ever talked about this horrific event? It does seem difficult to imagine so many years have passed and nobody knows the full scope of it. Even becoming a class S commander didn't explain everything. The reason this is, is such a well-kept secret is not because the survivors chose to keep it a secret. It's because their memories were wiped clean. It is a secret because no one was allowed to remember. What? Oh, for crying... Look, this is all starting to get real confusing here. Why are you... S what are you saying is that everybody's... I mean, everyone forgot about Rahu entirely? That's correct. That's impossible. What could possibly make everyone just forget about this at once? Oh, nothing can make that happen, naturally. Are you saying some devastating way to erase every living memory? Yes. The engineers of this foolish plan wanted to erase everyone's memories and plant false ones. Our government carried this out this plan hundreds of years ago, once the dome was completed. Oh, what? The government found a way to make everyone forget about Rahu, yes. The world exists entirely within the dome. Outside the dome, there is nothing. We are all raised thinking that this dome is our true home. Where we live, we will live and die. That is the greatest lie. The memory implant told us all about this dome contained mankind's entire world. But why? Rahu will awaken. It is inevitable. Could you live a normal life knowing Rahu would return? But never knowing when. I see it was to give us a sense of security even if it was just a lie. But how is that possible? What could possibly erase everyone's memory like that? I don't know, but they did it. They made a device that could erase everyone's memory. I can't believe it. I'm sure we have to hurt something like that. Captain Mira, I already told you. There are some things that even Class F commanders haven't been told. How do we know you didn't make the whole story up? I suppose you have no evidence except that one of these still exists this very day. Really? Where is it? I got it! Here you do! It's at the lab, the customer over. That's why the Z Syndicate was there. You're right, you're the man, Harry. <laughs> no, it's not at the lab. I thought so, Harry's not that smart. There's no way he could have figured it out before me. He's sad. So where is it? Ryan. Yes? Your spotter's watch. That's the device. You can erase people's memories. You've had it all along. What? Ryan's watch? That's why Z's leader said something about defeating Rahu with Ryan's watch. I see. That device was used to defeat Rahu. That one that can erase people's memories. Yes, hundreds of years ago. That very device helped us defeat Rahu. Sergi, why does Ryan have it? How did something like that wind up with him? What was Ryan's father's like? He was the distinguished scientist, one of the highest ringing officials in the Gov. That is why he was told the truth. We all live with false memories implanted by the government. I mean, this is so like an anti-government game, but who cares? So basically, like China, communism. <laughs> when we learned that people had been deprived of the truth for so long, he began to have doubts. He questioned the ethics of the plan, and he would that rival would rise once again. Marcia, my leader told me where your power came from. It's a result of the erasure, a side effect. Right now, every aspect of the brain development is, un is controlled. The side effect was unexpected. Nobody realized that the dramatic change in the environment and the memory blocks and plants would generate this effect. No one could explain why, what exactly created Marcia's power. Marcia, 
Your power is born from this tragedy you mean suffered hundreds of years ago. Well, I'm gonna stop it here, guys. Everyone. And I'm gonna get some water real quick because my mouth is hoarse. That's not real work. But anyway, I'll be right back.